getting a sweet property that will continue to generate interest and revenue long into the future is something that every game publisher wants. But Disney already has a truckload of sweet properties, and they generate more all the time. Tying them all into a single gaming hub and turning that hub into a collectible toy game is a stroke of pure genius. Disney Infinity uses the idea of playsets at its core. Each playset has a number of figurines associated with it, as well as a game unique to those figurines. Putting a figurine on the Infinity base peripheral makes it available as a character in the game, pretty much like Activision Skylanders. But that is more or less where the similarity between the two titles ends. Infinity has a whole lot more potential simply because of the playset system. And then there's the toy box too, but we'll get to that. The looks of the game are pretty good for such a large undertaking. Each playset has its own look and feel, appropriate to the movie on which it was based. The characters have voices that are as close to the expected thing as possible, and the overall presentation of the game, from menus to gameplay, is rather slick. Special mention needs to be made of the awesome intro that the player goes through at the start of the game. No spoilers, but it is really very good. Each playset has a distinct gaming feel, in addition to its presentation. Monster U, for example, is a stealth game, while The Incredibles is a free-roaming action game. Characters cannot be mixed and matched in specific playset games, so no study for The Incredibles, for example. But the characters can meet in the remarkable toy box function that has been built into Infinity. Here the player can build anything from simple levels to more complex minigames using objects and tools unlocked during the course of the game. The controls are simple enough for youngsters to use, but complete enough to allow for an enjoyable experience for the whole family. The whole package is slick and beautifully crafted, and staggering in its ambition. It is surprising then, that we didn't find any bugs while we were reviewing it. With toy box levels that can be shared online, Individual games for each playset weighing in at around 6 hours each, and toys that can store saved data and are compatible with any platform, you're going to be playing a lot of Infinity. And that's just with the starter set. But potentially each new movie and many of the existing ones will add new playsets too. In other words, whether as a single player or in multiplayer, there is a lot of time going to be spent with Disney Infinity. There really is no point in denying the fact that Disney Infinity is a complete cash cow, but it's still a great product for the whole family. It's not just an adventure game, or many games for that matter, but also a great tool for creative expression and sharing. It's going to lighten a lot of parents pockets, but we think that they'll be happy to invest in this family safe, creative and utterly remarkable new product from Disney.